Hi everyone, so I'm back today with a video about my top 10 favourite fragrances. I absolutely love fragrances. I love to go to the perfume counters and check out all the bits that are new and I also love to go and kind of replenish my old ones or go and discover one that I might have used many years ago but I haven't used for a while. It's just something that I really enjoy. I'm by no means an expert on perfume. I just enjoy it and I just wanted to share with you my top 10 favourites. So the first thing that I wanted to show you is my full entire perfume collection just so that you can get the idea of how I display my perfumes and also so that you can see all of the perfumes that I own. So I will insert a piece of footage here now. So this shows my entire perfume collection. This is how I have them set out. This is my dressing table so when I'm doing my makeup in the mornings I stand doing my makeup and all of my perfumes are laid out so that I can see which one kind of grabs me for the day ahead. Um, incidentally, yes I do stand to do my makeup. I just feel more comfortable standing up doing my makeup. I know that might be quite weird to people. I just find it more comfortable. I just find I'm more precise when I'm standing up. But anyway, yes this is my full perfume collection. I understand that there are quite a large number of perfumes here. I do actually use all of my perfumes, obviously not all at the same time, but I do use them all depending on what I'm doing for that day and I also really like to have quite a large number of perfumes in the sense that I don't have one like signature scent so it's nice to be able to have all of these different options so that I can pick and choose which one I fancy depending on what I'm doing that day or depending on the weather or the time of year, or the time of day, or my mood that day. So I really love to have all these different options available. So this is how I have my perfumes laid out. And now I will move on to showing you my top 10 favourite fragrances from my collection. So let's get started. So before we move on to my first pick of my favourite fragrances, I just want to say that I might be looking down every now and then. And the reason is, is because I went online before I started filming this video because I wanted to do a little bit of research about each of the perfumes that I've picked because like I said I am not an expert. I tend to just smell a perfume and I know whether I like it or not. I'm not one of these people who can smell necessarily like all the notes that you get in each perfume so I thought it'd be a nice idea to go online and check out what all of the notes are in each of the perfumes that I've picked so that you can have kind of a more informed idea of what each perfume might smell like because obviously you can't smell them unless you own them yourself so I just wanted to make sure I'd done a little bit of research on each perfume so I will be looking down because I have written down what the notes are in each of my perfumes and I'll have to obviously look down to refer to my notes so I do apologize for looking down every now and then so my first pick of my top 10 perfumes is Vivian Westwood's Naughty Alice and some of the notes that are in this are Black Rose, Violet and Ylang Ylang. Now just as a quick side note, I'm just going to say that as I was doing my research on all my top 10 perfumes, I noticed that the ones I've picked all have very very similar notes in it and it turns out that I seem to like floral scents. So you will notice, or you might notice, that when I'm reading out what notes are in each perfume, they all have quite similar qualities. So yeah, just so you know, most of these fragrances are floral based. Without a doubt, this is my girliest fragrance. As soon as you smell this, the first thing that will come to mind, or it certainly did when I smelt it, is talcum powder. This is, to me, the most powdery scent ever. And I love it for that. It's so feminine, it's so girly, it's fun, it's not like the most sophisticated scent, but I love it for its powdery quality. This is a really, really versatile perfume in terms of what age can perhaps wear it. I think that you could wear this perfume from sort of early teens all the way up to my Nana, who is 99, I think she could also wear this perfume. I think it's just one of those that is so versatile and 
again I love it for that I also think that it's suitable for day or evening wear so again very versatile in that respect and it's just very there's something about it that's very warming and it's just it's just a fun one and I love the name as well, I think that adds to the fun factor. It also lasts pretty well on your skin throughout the day. You don't have to kind of re keep respraying it too much throughout the day. And also, I don't know if you're supposed to do this, but it's just something that I do. I like to spray a bit of perfume in my hair because I find that it actually lasts longer in your hair and you can smell it more often because obviously you're moving your head. That's just, yeah, a, a little tip. Um, so yes, I really like this perfume. It is one of my favourites and one I do replenish a lot. So if you're looking for something that's very powdery, very girly, this is definitely the way forward. Love this one. Number two of my top 10 favourites that I'm showing you is Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. And the notes in this are, the top notes are orange, the middle notes are jasmine, rose and ylang ylang, and the base notes are vanilla and musk and they describe this as an oriental fresh fragrance. This is probably my all-time favourite perfume. I just adore it. It's also one that I know... I, I haven't met anybody who doesn't like this perfume. It's just... it's so beautiful and honestly, if I don't have this in my collection, I, it stresses me out. I have to go and buy it. It's just, it really is one of my all-time favourites. I also have the little handbag version so I can keep it in my handbag as well. I just adore it. Everything about this fragrance I love. This is a very feminine fragrance. It is also very versatile. It's another one of those that I think all ages can wear. It's also very very recognisable. If somebody else is wearing it, I always know exactly which perfume it is. It's just one of those. It just has a very distinctive smell. And it really is just beautiful. It's You can wear it for day or night, I think. It's one of those, again, that you can carry right through to the evening. I actually wish that I'd worn this as my wedding perfume because it is just such a classic to me and I think it's so beautiful. But... I didn't, I wore something else, and yeah, I just love it. But this is definitely a perfume that you just can't go wrong with it. And although it's quite pricey, I think it's definitely, definitely worth it. And if you're looking to get somebody a perfume as a gift, I would say this is a very, uh, a beautiful gift and a very safe option because like I said before, I have never met anyone who doesn't like this perfume. So this is probably my all time favorite. Absolutely love it. Perfume number three is again, another one by Chanel and it is Chanel Chance Eau Fresh. And the notes in this are, the top notes are lemon and cedar. The middle notes are pink pepper and jasmine. The base notes are teak, iris, amber, patchouli and musk. And the way they describe this is a sparkling floral. And I actually think that that totally sums this up. I think that is the perfect way to describe this perfume. This is actually the perfume that I wore on my wedding day. And I do love it and I, I know why I chose it. I got married in the summer and this is the perfect summer fragrance. It's so fresh. It's very clean, it's very crisp, and it's just so, it's really feminine, it's just beautiful. Like, I don't really know much what more I can say about this. It's quite simple. The notes that I think that are probably more apparent in this one are the sort of lemon, the pink pepper, jasmine, patchouli. I'm not sure about, I, I don't have a very trained nose when it comes to perfumes, but I'm not sure, I can't smell kind of the amber, the teak, and the musk. I, I'm not sure about that, but it's very, very, very fresh. It's not, like, at all sickly. It's just clean, simple. I love this perfume so much. And again, one that I would keep replenishing because I love it. And also because, obviously, I wore it on my wedding day, so I hold, kind of, a special thing for this one. Number four of my top ten favourites is this one, which is Stella by Stella McCartney. And the notes in this are Mandarin Essence, Rose, Peony and Amber. And they wrote that this was made as an homage to the English Rose. Again, this is definitely, definitely 
one of my favourite perfumes. It's a really unusual scent. It's also one that whenever I'm wearing it, people always ask me what scent it is. Once it's on, it smells quite different to how it is in the bottle. And I love it. It's beautiful. It's quite a, a rich scent. To me, it's not heavy and overbearing, but it is rich. It's, it's very warming. I'm assuming that that is probably to do with the notes of amber and I also like the fact that it's because it's got the rose notes in it it still retains that kind of femininity but also it is a little bit kind of sexy um, I think this people might find this more appropriate for the evening but I do tend to wear it throughout the day just because I love it so much possibly slightly more autumn winter appropriate because it, it does have that warm, rich tone to it. I also love the simplicity of the bottle. It's just very elegant and definitely a unique scent. If you've watched my What's In My Bag video, um, this is the fragrance that I have in the smaller version, which I carry around with me in my handbag because it's just a really nice one to throw on throughout the day. So number five on my top 10 favorite perfumes is this one. And this is by Erin, and this is in the scent Gardenia Rattan. If you watched my birthday haul, you will have seen that I got this for my birthday, and so this is now in my top 10 favorites, because it really is a beautiful smell. First of all though, the bottle. Isn't it a beautiful bottle? If you go to the Air Encounters and have a look at their perfumes, you'll see that each perfume has a different colour stone on top of the bottle depending on what fragrance it is, which I think is beautiful. They look beautiful when they're all standing together. And this, yeah, this is a really gorgeous scent. The only thing I would say is that these are extremely expensive. And for me that's kind of its downfall because I love love the smell of it but they are so pricey which is a shame because in regards to repurchasing it I would have to really think about it though I love the fragrance they are just very expensive but I I think they are beautiful I love the bottle and the scent is lovely so the notes in this are gardenia, tuberose, amber and marine notes and this is, for me, a definite summer fragrance. It's very, very, very light. It's very subtle. For me, it's not enough to wear in the winter, whereas in summer, when it's very hot, you don't want everything, anything that's sort of too heavy or too kind of deep and rich and warm. Well, I, I personally don't like to wear those. So... This is very, very light. It's it's just clean, fresh, simple, kind of just one that you could throw on in the summer and, and not think too much about it. The only thing that is slightly annoying with this, because it's so subtle, is that I don't find that it lasts that well um, on your skin. You have to keep reapplying it quite often to kind of get the scent back, which is a shame for a perfume of this price, but I do enjoy wearing it and I think that I will wear it a lot in the summer because it really is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. The marine notes in it kind of just give it that little bit of crispness. Is that cris crispness? Is that a word? I don't know. Anyway, crispness. And then it's just got the floral edge to it, which it's, it's just lovely. It's, it is just lovely is how I would describe this fragrance lovely. Fragrance number six is this one, which is by Bulgari, or Bulgari, I'm never quite sure which way you're supposed to pronounce it, and this is called Omnia Crystalline, and this is a similar kind of thing to the Erin fragrance that I've just shown you, in the sense that this is another one that's very subtle. The notes of this are fruity notes, lotus blossom, and woody notes. That's not that descriptive, sorry about that, but that's all I've written down for some reason. But yes, this is another one that is very inoffensive. It's very subtle, but it's again very elegant, sophisticated, and another one that you could just throw on and not have to think too much about it. I find this is a good one if I just can't decide which perfume I'm in the mood for that day. This is a really good one that just covers it all, you know, like, it's just an easy one to throw on because it's not overpowering, um, but it's not too kind of insipid. It's just very wearable. And I think this is also one that you could wear day to night and also summer and winter. So I think this is really quite a good all-rounder. It's just very pretty and 
sometimes a slightly more subtle perfume is the way to go if you're not kind of sure what sort of thing to wear that day so yeah really like this one number seven in my top 10 favorites is an all-time classic for me and it is the Jean Paul Gaultier Classique which is just I think this is just literally the original one and the notes in this are the top notes are rose and fresh anise, the middle notes are orange blossom and ginger, and the base notes are vanilla and amber, and I love all of those notes, so this is kind of perfect, this fragrance. This for me is a really kind of, it's a nostalgic fragrance, because I used to wear this loads when I was kind of a bit younger, even though I do actually think it's kind of a more mature scent. My mum used to wear this when I was younger, and I think maybe that's kind of where the nostalgic thing comes in. Um, and I love it. I love wearing this now. This is another one that's very distinctive. Again, if you smell it on anyone, it's quite easily recognisable. It's quite a deep, strong scent. Again, it's quite powerful and it lasts ages. If you accidentally spray this on your jacket or something, you can smell it for literally days afterwards, I find. It really, really does last a long, long time. I think because of the fact that it is quite rich for me this is probably a more evening scent and potentially a more winter appropriate scent but i think on a summer's evening this would also be really nice so yeah this is just a classic old faithful for me and i love it so number eight in my top 10 perfumes is this one this is by narciso rodriguez and it's just entitled narciso quickly just want to say i'm so sorry if i'm pronouncing the name wrong i'm never quite sure how you pronounce this correctly so I do apologize if I'm saying it wrong I probably am so I'm so sorry but yes this is Narciso and before we talk about the fragrance I just want to say this is my favorite perfume bottle of all time ever I just think this is so beautiful I love the simplicity of it it's just it's so elegant, it looks gorgeous on your dressing table. I also love the colours that are used. It's just very simple, very crisp, very modern. I just think it is stunning. And I remember when I first saw this in the shop, I saw the bottle and I thought, I do not even care what it smells like. I just have to have it because I adore the bottle, which is, I know, ridiculous. But I just love it and fortunately, I love the smell of the fragrance as well, so that was lucky. Moving on to the notes, white gardenia, rose, musk and cedar. So this is a very, another very unique scent. It's very in the style of the other Narciso scents. Again, sorry if I'm pronouncing the name wrong. It just has something about it that is just like another one of my top 10 fragrances that I will show you afterwards. It just has that kind of sexy tone to it. Um, it's, for me, this is most definitely an evening scent because it is very heavy, but in a good way. It's not like overbearing. Apart from if you spray too much of it, you might think, Phew, this is a bit strong, but I think this is a really gorgeous evening scent. Probably really nice to wear if you're going on a date because there's just something about it that is just, oh, it's just gorgeous, and it's really different, and it's also very long-lasting, which is great. And did I mention I love the bottle? So number nine, following on from my last perfume, is another one by Narciso Rodriguez. Still probably can't pronounce the name properly, sorry. And this is the one that's just called For Her. And again, I think the bottle is beautiful. The simplicity of it, again, is, is gorgeous. And the notes in this one are the top notes of rose and peach, the mid notes are amber and musk and the base notes are patchouli and sandalwood. This one for me is another one that ha is very nostalgic um, because when I was in sixth form college, so when I was kind of 17, 18, my friend and I used to wear this non-stop. So it kind of reminds me of like those really lovely times. It's just a beautiful fragrance. I think this is one that I will be wearing forever because I just love it. Like I love it as much now as I did back then. So. It's just beautiful and it's a really, it's quite a mature scent I think, so kind of when you're 17, 18, I think it's a really nice one because it's kind of grown up, you know, it's it's sophisticated and it's, it's lovely. It's very rich, probably more autumn, winter type scent and again because it is, it's another one that's 
quite heavy, maybe an evening scent, but I used to wear this all the time and I still do wear it throughout the day and I love it. So yeah, another one that I just think, I just love it, beautiful. So number 10 in my top 10 fragrances is this one. This is by Juicy Couture. You probably could have guessed that before I'd even said that. And it's called Couture Couture. And the first thing I just want to say about this, in contrast to my last few bottles, is that I really do not like the bottle of this. It's just too much. It's so over the top and a little bit tacky. But the fragrance is gorgeous. The notes in this one are, the top notes are mandarin, orange flower and grapefruit. The middle notes are jasmine, honeysuckle and plum. And the base notes are amber, vanilla and sandalwood. This is definitely a very, very young fragrance. There's just something about it. It's just very youthful. It's very, it's kind of fun and it's very sweet, possibly a little bit sickly for some people, but I've loved wearing this. I'm thinking that I might not repurchase this once I finish the bottle, only because I think as I'm getting older, I'm kind of preferring the more kind of grown up, maybe a bit more sophisticated scents. This certainly is not sophisticated. It's just a fun and almost good enough to eat kind of scent. Obviously don't eat it, but it's that kind of thing, you know, it's kind of delicious, this scent. I'm thinking, if you're kind of in your teens, I think this is a really lovely one to go for. Um, I am significantly older than I look, so I think perhaps this, once I finish this bottle, um, I probably won't repurchase it, just because I think it's time to move on. So that's it. Those are my top 10 favourite fragrances from my collection. Like I said before, I am not an expert, just, I just wanted to kind of show you the kind of scents that I like and just talk a little bit about them and how I choose to wear them. Fragrances are very different depending on the person. Often my mum will buy a fragrance and I love the smell of it on her, but I really don't like the smell of it on me. So obviously they're very much a personal thing and you have to try them on your skin to know whether they're gonna work for you. But these ones are the ones that I just find work for me. And yeah, I love them. I love fragrances and I am very happy that I have shared my favorites with you. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a very happy thumbs up if you did. Also, don't forget to subscribe, it would make my day. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you all again very soon. Take care, bye.